Savvy, you've been quiet a long time. Tano, I've been enjoying the country, thinking how lucky we are to be here. The great heritage isn't. Makes you realize how the poet felt when he wrote, I love thy rocks and rills, thy woods and templed hills. Drop your guns. <laughs> I said, drop them. What's this all about, mister? Just drop the guns and ride. You can get them back in two days from the Tallman City Post Office. I'll circle and get behind. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> What's the meaning of this, Mr. Dubs? Walter Dubs. Are you outlaws? No more than you are. This mask is on the side of the law and always will be. I'm the Lone Ranger. And this is my Indian friend, Tato. I've heard of you. I'm awful sorry, mister, for everything. But mostly, I'm sorry about Hannah's harp. Harp? Yeah, it's the only thing that Hannah ever really wanted. Kind of a dream it was ever since she was a little girl, listening to her aunt play one. Uh, Hannah, your wife? Uh-huh, just the other day, I was watching her sitting in a chair and sewing, and thinking how beautiful she was, and how good a wife she'd always been to me. What you dreaming about, farmer? About the farmer's wife? How lucky he is to have her. You're lucky. Why, Walter, a man like you could have had any woman he wanted. Haven't given you much. Never wanted. Been fed and clothed and sheltered. And loved. Any woman on earth could want for more than that. That's how Hannah was. She made a man feel ten feet high. But for 15 years, I'd been saving. And now, with her birthday just two months off, I had enough to buy her her dream. But I didn't have no money to pay the freight. So I told Hannah I was going to drive to St. Louis on business. Things went fine until I'd gone about 200 miles and was getting near Tallman City. Hey! Hey, you wild Indians! There's a wagon train! Come on, let's attack! Sorry, pale face. We engines were just funnin'. Funnin'? You young good for nothing. Hey, and look what I found. You give that back. That's mine. Oh, don't be stupid. We found it, and we're gonna keep it. <laughs> Why don't you give the old geezer back his money, Wes? We don't need it know how. You're getting soft, hacker. He's gonna pay me for this. Nobody whips a tallman. 
All right, all of you, let's go. The drinks are on the old man. I had no gun, so all I could do was watch him ride off with the money for Hannah's heart. So you try to take our guns. Mr. Dubbs, this is something for the law to handle. I think we'd better ride in and have a talk with the sheriff. I guess I was kind of sudden. Kind of childish, too. But I tell you one thing for certain. I'm going to get that money back one way or the other. And that's the way it was, Sheriff. Description's easy. It was Wes Tallman and a bunch of the Diamond Tea Punchers. Then let's get after them. Now, Mr. Dobbs, we don't want to cause any trouble over a little prank, do we? Prank? You mean robbery and assault, Sheriff. Now, see here. I can't accuse Reese Tallman's son of that just on this man's say-so. Sheriff, I knew Tallman owned this town, but I didn't know he owned you, too. Men have died for talk like that. I'm well aware of that, Sheriff. Mr. Dobbs came here for justice. You're the law in this town. Your duty is clear. All right, all right. We'll ride out and see Tallman, if that's what you want. It certainly is. Uh, I want you to stay in town. Find out all you can about West Tallman, where he's been and what he's done today. You may do that, Commissioner. Yeah. Wes is a little high-spirited, Sheriff. You know that. But he likes his fun. Sure, Mr. Tallman, I know. Maybe I've given him a little too much rain since his mother died. But a man's like that with his only son. That don't settle a thing. No. No, of course not. Well, let me see now. Wagon's worth about $20. Suppose we call it 50 to settle things. Call it 300 Now, now, Mr. Dubs. I know I'm a rich man, but don't get greedy. Ten for the wagon, five for the produce, and 285 in cash, what he stole from me. My son doesn't steal. Mister, he stole my purse. You're a liar, Mr. Dubbs. But then maybe it's worth it to get rid you of You mean him. to keep that thieving son of yours out of jail? Easy, Dubbs. No. You talked about justice. Well, good. Let's have some justice. I'm going to have your son arrested. Get out, sodbuster. Just a minute, Mr. Tallman. If he prefers charges, there's bound to be trouble. Sheriff? Get these trespassers off my ranch and tell them that, right or wrong, nobody puts a Tallman in jail. That true, Sheriff? Well, as long as Mr. Tallman pays Mr. Dubs, I see no reason. For the wagon. Not a cent more. Mr. Tallman, I think we'd better have a talk with your son. What about, mask man? About the money for Hannah's harp, you little thief. Me? <laughs> Look, Dad, I'll admit we were horsing around a little, but... Well, surely you don't believe oh, this. Oh, of course not. <laughs> Can't you see, Dad? He's just trying to bleed you a little bit. Liar, tell the truth. I'll tell the truth. Truth is that you're a grubby dirt farmer who never saw five dollars in your whole life. Liar! Liar! Get a hold of yourself, Dubs. You too, Tallman. Who do you think you are trying to take a law into your own hands? I'll show you who I am. If you're not off this ranch in five minutes, I'll have you roped and dragged off. Are you all right, son? He, he tried to kill me, Dad. You saw it, Wirt. I want this old buzzard thrown in jail on a charge of attempted murder. Come along, son. Murder? Murder. Now look here, Sheriff. Well, you saw it, too. He did try to kill Wes. Well, he drove me to it. He beat me up. He stole my money. He lied. This man is guilty of attempted murder. So is Tallman for trying to crack his skull with a gun. Now look here, mister. Reese Tallman swings a lot of weight around these parts. I'll have to take him in. Very well, Sheriff. I can't interfere with the law. But you can tell Reese Tallman for me. He'll never railroad this man to prison. I'm gonna kill him. You're going to stay right here until I can prove West Tallman's guilt. I'll get out, and when I do... Murder never solved anything. You listen to me. I'm your friend. You said there was one man who objected to West Tallman taking your money. Did you hear his name? Hacker. He called him Hacker. Now will you leave me alone? Kim, it's 
sabe. The restaurant man say Wes Talman leave town this morning, drunk and broke. And come back later with plenty of money. Good work, Toto. That's not proof, that's hearsay. You can't buck Reese Talman without absolute proof. And yeah, we'll get that proof. We're going to talk to an eyewitness. Come on, Toto. Say hacker sent a line camp at Alkali Spring. That's 30 miles away. Ah, him sent far as possible. Me think was Talman afraid him tell truth. He's going to tell the truth, Tuttle. Come on. Pull up! All right, now throw out your guns. You're running a bad hunch, mister. It doesn't matter if we ride on. You're trespassing on Diamond Sea land. Now, the quickest way off is back the way you came. We ain't ride north. No, Injun. You're wrong. You go back the way you came. Either in one piece or full of holes. No point getting ourselves killed over an old farmer. Stooley says. Uh, who care about old farmer? Now you're playing it smart. All right, now turn around and get moving. Now, Tonto. See that, mister? He missed. But I'll shoot your head off if you don't forget what you have in mind. You're not scare us, boy. We'll get Hacker and bring him back to testify against you. No, mister. You get on your horse and go back the way you came. And if I ever see you on Diamond T land again, sir, help me, I'll bury you on it. You'll see us. When you do, you'll be sorry you ever started anything you couldn't finish. <laughs> Your move. Hmm? Oh. Still thinking about your wife? We don't have no relatives. What's she gonna do without me? Who'll take care of her? It's all that West Tallman's fault. I'll kill him. Take it easy, Dubs. You'll get a fair trial. It's him that ought to be tried, not me. Stop brooding, Art. Want some coffee? Oh. Oh, I, I got something in my eye. Here, let me see. Huh. I don't see nothing. See this, can't you? Now take it easy, Dubs. Take it easy. Mister, get me out of here. He's escaped. Dubs escaped. He tricked me, stole my gun. Where key? On the desk. You know which way he went? North, but the sound of the horse's horse towards the Talman Ranch. He's got a rifle with him. I gotta warn Reese Talman the old man's gunning for his son. If you tell him that, he'll have 50 riders out to gun the old man down in his tracks. It's my duty to warn him. Open the cell. What do we do, Mr. Savvy? We've got to find Dubs before Talman finds him, or before he finds Talman. Either way, it'll be cold-blooded murder. Come on, Tuttle. Here. Uh, that wagon horse wear big shoes and plenty heavy and slow, too. We catch up pretty soon. Dubs is armed and desperate. If we want to save his life, we have to trick him into giving himself up. I'll explain it to you as we ride. Dubs! It's 
me, the ranger. Stay where you are. I've come to help you. You're on Talman's land. They'll gun us both down if they find us. Get back. <laughs> Listen, you hear that? Oh, no. You tricked me. I had to, Dubs. By now, the whole Talman outfit is gunning for you. What's the use? There ain't no justice, and I'm getting too old to fight. You're fighting it the wrong way. And you give up wrong way, too. There is such a thing as justice. We're going to get it for you. But not at point of gun. All right, take me back. Take me back. Good. That's what I wanted to hear you say. Tano, how long will it take you to ride to Alkali Springs and bring Hacker back? One day, if him talk. He'll talk. That's why they sent him away. They're afraid he'll talk. Who cares? I don't. It's not for me. It's for Hannah. Poor Hannah. You not worry, mister. You not go to prison. And your Hannah, she get her harp yet. You see. The Indian cares. He really cares. Of course he does. All good men care when they see injustice done. We've waited long enough. Order. I now declare this court in session. Bring in the prisoner. Coming up, Your Honor. Just a minute, Judge. Give me one more hour. What difference can it make? You're out of order, mister. You said you'd have the witness here by sundown. All right, Dubs. You're charged with the vicious offense of felonious assault on the person of West Town. Now tell me, do you plead guilty or not guilty? Well, I... Oh, guilty, I guess. No, Dobbs. You're innocent until proven guilty. One more word out of you and I'll hold you in contempt. The judge of this court, the power vested in me, I hereby sentence you to... I told you, Judge, my friend would be here. Ah, me bring witness. Him say, him see West Talman take money. You did, Hacker? I sure did, Judge. It's a lie. Hacker's a bare-faced liar. Am I? Take a look at his face. Ask him why he sent me into Alkali Springs when I told him I wouldn't lie for him. No, Dad. Don't believe him. Then why did you run away? Because it's true, Mr. Talman. True? Arrest him, Word. Stand back! No one arrest Talman. A Talman. You young whelp! Don't move anyone. He'll shoot. Come on, Tonto. Cut now, boy. You catch yourself when you lie about Dubs. Think it over, son. You bought your own ticket to prison with the money you stole from Mr. Dubs. On your way. Oh, Walter, this is the most wonderful birthday surprise. I haven't had a birthday party since I was a little girl. Well, reckon it's about time I fetched your present, Anna. Tonto? Present, too? Oh, I'm afraid he spoils me terrible sometimes. <laughs> he thinks I don't know. Bet she brought me back a fancy handkerchief from St. Louis. He never forgets me. Happy birthday, dear. Happy birthday, Hannah. Walter Dubs. 
It's real, Hannah. It's real. Real? A real heart. Oh, Walter. I knowed it. I knowed she'd ball. <laughs> <laughs> From us, Hannah. Happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, look, there's writing in it. It says, Happy birthday, Hannah. From Tonto and the Lone Ranger. Are you silver? Away! We'll camp here. We could reach Eagle Pass before dark, Kim Savvy. Well, I know, Tonto, but I'd rather size the situation up in the daytime. Hmm, what's wrong at Eagle Pass? There's been a gold strike there, I hear. Claim jumping and even murder. Hey, Tonto, look. Right on this horse. Let's head him off. We ride back, find Ryder, Kimisami? I don't think so. We wouldn't find the trail in the darkness. This horse has come a long way. Look. Mud clear over Fetlock. Hasn't rained in months. Let's find out where he was going. Ha! Ah, oh, gee, Grandpa. Nothing but squirrels do again. Ah, I'm afraid so, Lenny. After all, your pa's been away more than a month. I suppose he stays two months. Three months, a whole year. We got to keep eating squirrel stew forever. Do we, Grandpa? No, Lenny, no. I'll see Mr. Hayes at the store. He'll give us some things. Uh, I'm sure he will. Good! Some fresh beef and bacon and some licorice drops, huh, Grandpa? Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Gee willikens. Somebody outside. Maybe it's Pa coming home. Paint all alone. Who's there? What do you want? A friend. Please open the door. Now you listen to me, whoever you are. I got me a loaded rifle here, and I can hit a squirrel at a hundred feet. Oh, I'm sure you can. Now, when the door opens, you come in with your hands up. One false move and I'll shoot. There'll be no false moves. Let me open the door and stand back. Masked man, back out. I'll count five and shoot. One, two, Three, I'm warning you, mister. Four. I'm not leaving until you listen. Out, you hear me? Run. You have only one bullet. We two men. What you do now? Believe me, sir. You won't need even one bullet. Well, I reckon you can come in. You say your father made many trips. Always to the same place? Yes, sir. Dad called it Surprise Valley. He said it was so hidden he didn't think any white man had ever been there before him. Him always bring back gold? Uh, only a little. He, he said the vein always pinched out. Then it would crop up again, perhaps a quarter of a mile away? Uh, that's it exactly. Only he said he was going to stay there till he found the mother load. I believe he found it, sir. Now, this is almost pure gold. A little sulfide and some quartz. Gramps, we're rich. Can I have this hug, mister? Hug Gramps, can I, to keep uh, my pocket? Yeah, I guess so, if you'll only be quiet. Now, what do you suppose happens? Yeah, it's plain your son was stopped somewhere. Somebody took the gold out of these saddlebags. Somehow, the horse broke away and headed home. That's just like old Paint. He don't want to go someplace nobody can make him. Reckon you don't understand, Lenny. 
Afraid your pa's in trouble. There's an easier way to get loose, Mr. Peters. All you have to do is play ball with us, and I'll cut those ropes in a jiffy. If I don't play ball, you'll use a knife on me. Well, that's up to you. It isn't like I wanted something for nothing, Mr. Peters. You and I need each other. I got a gold mine. You got a gang of outlaws. What do I need you for? To save you from them, in case they get impatient. You can't scare me out of my claim. As long as I don't tell you where it is, you'll never find it. Oh, I don't know. We found the secret entrance to Surprise Valley here, and we captured you. But you haven't made me say where my claim is. That's right. But every man has his breaking point, Mr. Peters, and we'll find yours. But what are we going to do? we got to find Pop somehow. You're not worry, boy. Tell me, does your son always ride the same horse? Yeah, always. My Pop wouldn't ride any horse but old Paint. We'll put Paint on the trail in the morning. A little pushing, I think he'll lead us to the claim. You don't have to push him, mister. Just let me ride him. He'll take me where Pa is. I know he will. Ride him? There ain't no telling what you'll be getting into. They'd be trailing right behind me. I wouldn't be scared. Of course you wouldn't, son. But it's too risky. Oh, gee. Gramps. Uh-huh. Masked man's right, boy. Bad enough if your pa's in danger. Without you, maybe getting into trouble, too. What if old Pink won't backtrack without me riding him? We'll wait for daylight and let the horse decide that. Come on, Tonto. You're not leaving us, are you, mister? We'll be back by sunup. Tonto and I'll ride into Eagle Pass and see what we can find out. No use being stubborn, Mr. Peters. We'll get what we want, whether you tell us or not. I'm telling you nothing. Well, maybe you won't have to. Here's Harvey Long now. He's probably found out where your claim is. Any luck, Harvey? Yes and no. Backtracked as long as the light held out. He went down the creek bed just like you figured. You see, Peters? I told you he'd find your claim. Well, I didn't find it, Slade. I lost his trail on a shelf of pegmatite. So hard that horses' hooks couldn't even scratch it. Pegmatite? That shows you that he knows his rock formations. He can help you work your claim while I'm at the county seat filing the papers. What papers? Well, the uh, ones you're going to sign for me to take to the land office. You know, showing a full description of the claim and deeding over to us uh, half interest in the mine. No. It's my strike and I'm keeping it. All of it. You go on talking that way and you won't keep nothing. You'd better be ready to show us the mine in the morning, partner. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa's still asleep, Pink. Time we started looking for Pa on our own. All right, Pink. I'm giving you your head. Now take me where Pa is. Paint horse while you talk to Griff and grandson. Yes, and hurry. Just a minute. Oh, didn't mean to keep you waiting. I must have slept sounder than I figured. What'd you find out? The Slade gang moved into town two weeks ago. They've been claim jumping and terrorizing the miners. You think they got my son? If they have, let's hope his horse will lead us to him in time. Paint horse gone, Kimasami. Tracks lead down the trail. Are you sure? Ah, little boy's footprints lead to horse. Lenny? Lenny, where are you? He ain't here. 
Looked like notes came, Miss Abby. Maybe him leave a message. Oh. Uh, uh, read it to me, mister. Dear Gramps, I'm going with old paint to make sure you'll find Pop. Tell the masked man and his Indian friend to follow our trail. Lenny. Oh, no. If the Slade gang has got his paw, and he runs into him, they'll grab him, too. Not if we can prevent it. Come on, Tonto. And you two go on ahead. I'll ride to town for the law as soon as I get dressed. Me and the sheriff will follow you. Right, Griff. Oh, wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You mean to say you let those men trail after your grandson without you going along? Well, they acted kind of honest-like. And... Wearing a mask? Look, I haven't been sheriff long, but this beats anything I ever heard of. A man your age, trusting a masked stranger. You reckon I done wrong? The only thing you've done right was come to me. For all you know, they could be part of the slave gang. So now I'm going after a masked man who claims he's trying to help a little boy. We're still on the right track. Ah, uh, boy, ahead for Canyon. Let's keep going. There's a boy ride paint horse this far, Kimisabi. Yes, Tano. He rode into this pool. There's no sign he rode out. It's beyond that brush is a dead end. Uh, I'm not sinking pool. Muddy water not deep enough. Mud. That's the answer, Tonto. All right, reach, both of you. Get their guns, Griff. You make big mistake. Yeah? Where's the boy? I can lead you to him. You can't lead me nowhere, mister. A man wears a mask to me is an outlaw. You're wrong. Boy right here to find father. We trail him. And caught him, I figure. Boy left this canyon before we got here. Left it how? I didn't see no trail signs leading out. Well, he didn't go that way. Nor up the sides, unless he growed wings and flew out. Sheriff, if you just let me explain. I find that boy and his paw safe and sound, then I'll listen. Well, they gotta be somewheres. You keep his jaspers covered while I go searching. Griff, you won't find them that direction. Can't you realize we're your friends? We're only trying to save your son and grandson from the Slade Gang. Those men are killers. Tell us where your mine is, Mr. Peters. No, never. Better not be too stubborn. The next time you're ready to drop, I may let you. I hear it's pretty painful being dragged across rough ground. Go ahead and try it. You done tried about every trick and every torture on me, but you ain't found my breaking point yet. No, but I will. Hey, Slade. Look out yonder. Well, Peters, there's your horse, the one that got away. And that wouldn't be your son, would it? Your breaking point, Mr. Peters. Lenny, go back! Run! Get help! All right, take care of him, boys. Come on, Harvey. Let's go get the kid. Like the kid tricked us. Well, let's find him. No use arguing, mister. Sheriff said to keep you here. 
He figures you're outlaws. Him get wrong idea. Then him too proud to admit him make mistake. Him not even listen. It's because he's young and inexperienced. A lawman doesn't trust honest people. It's because he doesn't yet trust himself. Believe me, Griff, we're only trying to help. If we just knew the way into Surprise Valley. I think I know, Griff. Paolo, you remember Paint's muddy legs? I believe he came through this pool last night. I think he took the boy back through the pool this morning. Well, there's no way of getting through. Can't you see, mister? It's a dead end. Griff, if I can prove to you that it isn't a dead end, that it leads to Surprise Valley, will you trust us? Well, I trust old Nick himself if he'd help me find my kinfolk. Good. All right, Tonto, try it. You right, Kimasabi? We get through. Well, I'll be jiggered. Mister, you hit on a secret passage to Surprise Valley. Here. And more power to you. I only hope we're not too late. The kid must have took cover someplace near here. Yes, but we can't spend all day looking for him. Why not? We got all day, haven't we? Why bother? We got his horse. That's almost as good as having a kid himself. Well, what's the horse got to do with it? Well, when Peter sees the horse, we'll convince him we've got his son. Might work at that, but I still think we can find the kid if we look around. Oh, forget the kid. Come on, let's go. Okay, you're the boss. Bring us here like you say, Kimisabi. But where we find boy? Well, I don't know. We've got to find him. Ah, Paint's tracks lead in that direction, Kimisabi. Tell him. Look, riders coming. Let's find out who they are. Come on. Mr. Am I ever glad to see you? I thought they was coming back for me. Who's they? The men that took old paint. Lenny, this wouldn't have happened if you'd have stayed home like you were told. You were very brave to come here. And very foolish, too. You disobey grandfather and get into much trouble. But I just had to look for Pa. I never thought the outlaws would almost get me. Outlaws? They got Pop all tied up. Two or three miles over yonder. You stay here till we get back. Promise? I promise. Well, Mr. Peters, we caught your son and left him tied up in the hills. No. I don't believe you. Don't you? We brought back his horse to prove it. I'll make you a little offer. You tell us where we can find your gold mine, and we'll tell you where to find Lenny. And if I say no? Then I'm afraid you'll never find him, Mr. Peters. Come on, Harvey. Let's give him a few minutes to decide. Think it'll go for him? Of course. But I've been thinking, why should we settle for half the mine when we can have it all? Well, how are you going to do that? Very simple. After he makes that map for us. All right. I know when I'm licked. Now cut me loose. Give me a pencil and paper, and I'll draw you a map of my gold claim. in and capture them? We've got to take them by surprise. They see us coming. It might cost Dan Peters his life. Uh, we could use Indian buffalo hunt trick him, Sammy. I'll try it, Tano. I'll ride around to the other side. All right, hurry it up. I'm almost done. Slade, look. Horse without a rider. Mount up and head it off. It may be a trick. No, 
don't shoot now. You might hit Harvey. <laughs> Let me have a clear shot at that engine. Get their guns, Mr. Peters. I am now, thanks to this masked man and his Indian friend. They saved my life and they saved my gold mine. Sheriff, I'll leave these renegades in your hands. Don't worry, mister. I'll see that they get the proper punishment. And I reckon I owe you an apology and plenty of thanks. Not at all. Thought it was time to go. Mister, do you really have to go? Yes, Lenny. We'll be around if we're ever needed. Adios. I know that masked man was all right, no matter what the sheriff said. But who is he? What's his name? The engine told us last night, didn't he, Payne? See? He's trying to tell you. It was the Lone Ranger. I'm Silver! To the Apache Indians, the white settlers who came west in the early days were like an invading army, seeking to take from them the lands they loved and had long considered their own. Bravest and most savage warriors of the west, the Apaches fought long and bitterly to stem the tide of civilization. And the Indian Wars in the Southwest make up one of the bloodiest chapters in America's frontier history. But at last, in 1873, peace was restored, and the Apaches were moved onto the reservation. With few exceptions, the Indians kept their pledge of peace, and once again the wagons rolled westward without fear of attack. But as thousands of new settlers poured into the Southwest, Everyone knew that one single clash between whites and Indians could well be the spark that would set off another long and bloody war. Our duty, and that of every peace-loving man, was to see to it that such a clash did not occur. But memories of the Indian wars were still bitter. Hatred still lived in many hearts, and the danger of a clash was ever present. Look. That Arroyo of Indian to Apache country, Kimasabe. White men follow Indians, then be killed. Got to stop them, Tom. Come on. Just a minute. Now, just who might you be, mister, hiding behind that mask giving orders? I'm not giving you orders, I'm just warning you. That's Apache country. If you go any further, you're bound to be killed. Them two Apache varmints stole two of my best horses. Ain't no thieving redskin gonna steal horses from Lou Pearson and get away with it. Now get out of my way, mister. Hold it, Pearson. All it would take to start a new war between the whites and the Apaches is an incident like this. You're going to stay right here. And let them buzzards get away with my horses? Not on your life, mister. I think I can get your horses back for you. Chief Gray Horse is a friend of ours. We'll ride in and see him. I'm sure he'll listen to reason. Reason with a redskin? The only way you can reason with one of them varmints is when you got a rope around his neck. In my book, mister, the only good engine is a dead one. If you want your horses back, you'll stay here. I don't cotton to letting strangers tell me what I can and what I can't do, Mr. Pearson. And I don't cotton to letting redskins get away with horse stealing. Me neither. Well, let him get the horses back if he can. We'll take care of the engines later. I build a fire and make some coffee. We want everything real peaceful when he comes back.
smile. Well, stranger, I gotta hand it to you. Chief Greyhorse came along to make sure you got your horses back. Son Red Cloud is a soldier at Fort Apache. He's very proud of him and wishes to keep peace. He's sorry that his brave stole your horses. Well, now, ain't that real nice? Tell the old chief I'm much obliged and that there's no hard feelings. Yes, sir, no hard feelings at all. Fine, I'll tell him. The white man thanks the chief for returning his horses. Tano and I also thank Chief Greyhorse. As long as white men and Indians can talk things over, peace will not be broken. Me no white man with mesh. Good friend of Indian. We wish all white men friend of Indian. Wish day. Don't try it, mister. Get off that horse, Indian. Now drop your guns, both of you. Mount up, men. Now you two back away. Like I said, mister, in my book, the only good Indian is a dead Indian. I'm not dead, Kimitani. He's badly wounded. He may have a chance. We'd better take him to the doctor at Fort Apache. Uh -huh. That man's to watch, Kimitani. You'd better get his horse. Dispatch, sir. Thank you. Well, Corporal Red Cloud. This dispatch is from Washington. I suspect it concerns you. Just as I thought. In response to your recommendation, a special citation for conspicuous bravery in action, together with a promotion to the rank of sergeant, is being made to Corporal Red Cloud, 41st U.S. Cavalry, Fort Apache. Finally came through, Sergeant. Well, thank you, sir. Never thought that someday I'd be handing a special citation for bravery to that little Indian boy who used to hang around the fort and plague us to let him join the cavalry. You were 12 then, weren't you? 10, sir. Proudest day of my life is when I get old enough to join U.S. Cavalry. My father very proud, too. Him say I chief of white men. Yes, Red Cloud. Gray Horse should be very proud now. Take care of this man, will you? You know, son, sometimes the gulf between your people and mine seems very wide indeed. But at other times, it seems to narrow. Let's hope it's always as narrow as it is right now. Congratulations, Sergeant. Thank you, sir. Father! My father. Ranger, what's happened here? The Chief Greyhorse. He's been shot. Greyhorse, it's me, Red Cloud. Tell me, who do this? White man with mask. Lead Greyhorse. Ambush him, friend. Shoot. It's not true, Red Cloud. You killed my father. Red Cloud, your father made mistake. He must have not kill. White man died. Hold it, Red Cloud. I know this man. You don't. He's not a killer. My father say white man kill. I believe my father. Confine him to barracks till he cools off. Gray Horse was killed by Lou Pearson. Do you know him? Know him? He's one of the worst troublemakers in the territory. Die! 
Bring him back. No, Ranger. You're a civilian. Let the men bring him back. Red Cloud, son of Apache Chief Kimisabi. Apache law says son of Chief must avenge father. Embound by law. You're right, Tom. Evening, men. Good evening, Major. Any news about Red Cloud? My man lost him. He's over in Apache country by now. Him chief now, Kimisabi. Him can turn whole Apache nation against white men. Major Lou Pearson has to be brought to justice. We have to prove to Red Cloud that the white man's law applies to the white man as well as the Indian. We only could, Ranger. Why can't we? Because Pearson's a civilian, that's why. And the Army has no jurisdiction over civilians. Why you not send for U.S. Marshal? I already have, but he's 100 miles from here. Meanwhile, Pearson's holed up at his ranch laughing at us. Laughing at the U.S. government and everything it stands for. Just where is the Pearson ranch? Box Canyon, five miles north of here. See here, you aren't thinking of going after him alone, are you? Sir, we can't wait for U.S. Marshal. That gang of Pearsons is just as vicious as he is. You haven't a chance. We haven't a choice, Major. Donna will make camp, then hit the Pearson ranch in the morning. We may be able to take them by surprise. Goodbye, Major. I'll not have you throw your lives away. You stay here till the Marshal arrives. That's an order. You forget, Major. Army have no say over civilians. We civilians. Good night, Major. Better get started. The Pearson Ranch is just over the next ridge. Your guns are here, white men. Get up. You sleep sound. I could have killed you while you sleep, but I have special death for men who murdered my father. You're making a mistake, Red Cloud. Lou Pearson killed your father. Not I. Him tell too, Red Cloud. Him my friend. Your friend? Is white man never friend of Indian? Him been friend for many years. No man could have better. I give you my word. Lou Pearson will be arrested and punished for his crimes. You must trust me. Trust you, white man? Like my father trusts you? No, oh, never again will I listen to lies of white man. And Red Cloud, you Indian like me, we talk alone? I listen to my red brother. trust you much, white man. He trusts you with his life. Be all right, Kimishami. You know you will not fail. He says if I let you go, you capture killer of my father. I will do my best. Saddle your horse. Come on, Tano. No, Kimishami. Me not go. Me stay here till you bring Pearson. If you bring back killer, your friend live. If not, he die. He say he can trust you. We shall see. Go now, Kimishami. And leave you here as hostage. I make no bargain with my friend's life. Kimisabi, if killer of Grey Horse not brought to justice soon, Red Cloud make war on white people. Many people die. Your people, my people. Go now. Let me ask his friend. Look, white man, shadow of spear. Now it is long, for day is young. When sun high, shadow go. When shadow go, you return, or your friend will die. Him give you till noon, Kimisari. No time to lose. I'll need my guns. Here, take them. They're empty. You can load them at you right away. But no tricks or your friend will die. I made a promise, Red Cloud. Watch the shadow, my red brother. It will get shorter and shorter as the sun comes up. And so will you trust in your white friend. Him not come back, me still trust him. I'll be back, Tonto.
You're inside, big fellow. Now's our chance. Blacksmith shop and tie him up. Shadow grow short. Where your white friend now? Him come. You see. Him come. sign of him yet. Why, why in the name of all that's good and proper did I let him go? Probably both dead by this time. Two of the finest men I've ever known. Blasted red tape. Can't even arrest a man I know as a murderer. Wait a minute. All I've been thinking about is the danger to the ranger in Tonto. What about Pearson? He's in danger too, isn't he? Might be killed by the Indians any minute. Sergeant, we can't let poor Mr. Pearson be murdered, can we? Of course we can't. It's our solemn duty to ride right out to the Pearson Ranch and put him under the protective custody of the U.S. Army. On the double, Sergeant, before it's too late. Blacksmith shop. Their guns. Do like he says. Outside. Silver! Silver! Come on, boy! Up in the saddle. Shadow 
Colonel, gone. Time run out. We're white men now. Him come. Him, my friend. Friend? He run. Save his own life. Leave you here to die. Still you call him friend? Still friend. Fool. Long time I too try to be friends with white men. Live like white man. Be like white man. But white men betray me just as he betray you. And because I listen to you, I let him escape. For that you die. How? Kimasabi. Here he is, Red Cloud. The man who killed your father. We'll turn him over to the Major of the Fort. Well, got the rest of them in the guardhouse, Ranger. This one makes my collection complete. You can't arrest me. I'm a civilian. I'm not arresting you, Pearson. I'm merely placing you under protective custody in the guardhouse so that nothing can possibly happen to you until the Marshal arrives. By the way, Major, Red Cloud sent you this. Broken arrow. Symbol of peace. Well, this is wonderful news, Ranger. Tato and I'll be back for Pearson's trial. Goodbye, Major. Wait. Come back here and be properly thanked. That's an order. Civilians, Major. Adios. <laughs> Civilians. Since when has the Army started cottoning up to outlaws? Outlaws? No, I, I wouldn't call them that. I'd call them fighters for justice, or good Samaritans to those in need of help, or... Maybe I'd just call them two great friends. And I hope the day will come when all men of all races can be as good friends as Tonto and the Lone Ranger. I own silver! Away!